today uh, I will show you a way in which opening that file becomes very very easy it's very simple say you insert your pen drive let me just eject my pen drive first um, mm -hmm. here you go I have eaten, I have inserted my pen drive and uh, the autoplay comes up and as there's no virus in it because I pre-cleaned it it had a lot of shortcut viruses so before you put it oh I'm sorry when you put it you need to scan it scan it make sure that your antivirus is updated and it removes all the all the viruses inside it and whenever you have finished scanning you go inside it and you will see that there are specific folders you cannot access mainly the folders say if I want to access a uh, new folder you see it doesn't really work and it prompts me to delete this shortcut but no I won't do that um, many of you already know a way by uh, raring the file but that's simply too too weird but why would you do that if you have a simple way simply what you do is if you want to access say this Nokia file mm -hmm. it doesn't really work or the Nokia flash and whatever it's file mm -hmm. is doesn't work you simply right click on it and go to the properties you see this target in the shortcut tab this is the target where this file actually wants to access whenever you click it but as the virus the virus is removed this so-called link does not lead to anywhere so you simply delete this link and you give it its previous link back which was indeed the drive name which in my case is k and then i will look for the file name which is nokia i'll type n o k i a so i uh, right click on it go to properties and uh, as I said there was a there was a there was a corrupted link in it what you do is rename it and first of all you will give the name of your drive which is K in my case in your case it can be anything it can be J K L M N O P so in my case it's a K so after K give I think this is a semicolon oh no it's not a semicolon whatever two dots and then I will simply add this and then add a hash and then look for the name of the file which I want to repair in this case it's Nokia so and okay there you go I found it there you go there you go now what you have to do is delete the dot link part in the end and when you do that hit apply hit okay and voila you can access it so you don't have to worry about reformatting your drive and losing all your work by doing this you can simply repair any damaged file thank you for watching this video make sure that you subscribe and to the loop